Welcome to the Good News Radio broadcast. Hello, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Before Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Do you know what time it is? I recall an incident that happened around 2004. We were in Eureka Springs taking a vacation. I was walking down the street by myself. It was late, probably around 9 or 10 at night. I saw a group of young women on the other side of the street walking together. One of them looked at me flirtatiously and said, Do you know what time it is? I had a real weird feeling about what was going on. I told them that I didn't have a watch with me. They all started laughing uproariously. I quickly went on and found my husband and friends. I thought about their attitudes in asking me that question. Today, if I had the chance, I would really like to ask them, do you know what time it really is? Only my question is a spiritual one. Now I ask you, do you know what time it is? We should ask ourselves this. Jesus told us in his words to watch and pray. He said, do not be caught unaware. He told us plainly that those in darkness would be caught unaware, but those in the light would observe the signs of the times and understand. The wise would see and understand. Do you think we have much time left in God's timetable? Is it in his timetable to bring divine judgment upon a wicked and perverse generation? I think we're getting there. What do you do with your time? Do you use it wisely? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Jesus told the parable of the ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. God tells us to redeem the time. What does that mean? It can mean making the most of the moments that you have. It could mean using your life for the good. It could mean all that. But I submit to you that it can also mean making sure that your heart is right with God. God gives people time to give their hearts and lives to Him. Ephesians says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. God reigns on the just and the unjust. That means that He is good to everyone. He gives people a certain amount of time to live good lives. It is up to each individual to decide if he will give himself to God or not. How are you using this great gift of life? What are you doing with the opportunity that God has allotted to you? When you stand before him, will you be scared to death or will you be full of joy? Time is getting short. Do you know what time it is? Are your spiritual eyes open? Are your spiritual ears in tune to what God is saying? God has given us many signs that he is coming. Wake up, O oh sleeper. We should be preparing for living in eternity with God. That's the bottom line. If you're not ready to go with Jesus when he comes back, get ready today. Say to Jesus, I believe you are God's son. I ask you into my heart and I give you my life. There is even a song about, do you know what time it is? The lyrics are absolutely godless. There are frivolous thoughts about, do you know what time it is? Someone could say, yeah, it's pizza time. But time is not a frivolous thing. There are many people in hell today who wish that they had more time. Do you know what time it is? Do you see the handwriting on the wall? Where do we get that idiom, handwriting on the wall? We get it from the Bible. There was a proud and haughty king. He would not listen to the prophet of God. He was told that he could not use the holy utensils for his party. He used them anyway. He thought he was above God and everyone else. He felt that he didn't have to answer to anyone. How wrong he was. During the party... A hand began writing on the wall. The word said that God had numbered the days of his reign and it had come to an end. 
It said, You have been weighed upon the scales and found wanting. Your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. That very night, King Belshazzar was slain. Darius the Mede took over the kingdom. Our God is loving, he is kind, but he is also a God of judgment. The nation or individual that mocks God and commits sin and refuses to repent will come under divine judgment. When God's prophets proclaim warning and preach, many people just tune them out. Wake up, O sleeper, hear the word of the Lord. Do you know what time it is? If you fell asleep 30 years ago and woke up today, you would be absolutely shocked at the change in America. Divorce has increased. People live together and think nothing of it as a lifestyle. Abortion has skyrocketed. Pornography is rampant. It's just a click away on devices. Homosexuality. Marriage has been passed as the law of the land in direct disobedience to God's word. Standards are almost non-existent anymore in the movies. Blasphemy is commonplace in movies. Out of wedlock births is rampant. We are overwhelmed in our national debt. That's insane. Many of our political leaders are corrupt at every level. Do you see the handwriting on the wall? Do you know what time it really is? A German would tell you that an educated and civilized nation moved from democracy to dictatorship and then demise in less than six years. A once thriving nation can have its heritage and faith so decimated that history records it as a tragic collapse. We need to pray for our nation so that socialists don't take over our country. God has given us a choice. We can pray for revival. God did speak of sending the latter rain in the word of God. God wants to send revival all over the globe. He wants to renew people's minds. He wants people to be redeemed. He wants there to be a great supernatural awakening. How about you? Do you want that for this country? I sure do. I want people to be saved, healed, and delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. A pastor stated that America is in a spiritual coma. Awake, O oh sleeper, do you know what time it is? Today is a day of mercy and grace. You can turn to God right now. You can make it right with him today while you still have a chance. Jesus said, What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? Turn to God today. Pray to him. Bow down to him. It's time to repent. Don't be like the wicked king who did not turn an ear to what God had to say but kept to his own desires. He was judged for it. He lost his soul for it. Time is of the essence. Do you know what time it is? And now this concludes the message today. Again, this is Brenda Harris, blessing you in Christ's name. May God's face shine upon you and show you his great favor.